Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Tuesday, May 12th. Hope you guys are having a great morning so far. Uh, we got quite a few items here. Not quite a few, but we got a few items here on the economic calendar. So let's jump right into it. We'll start off with the NFIB Small Business Index. Uh, this is basically an index that gauges the uh, the confidence level in uh, for small businesses and this is important primarily because they do make up the bulk of the employment out there uh, so on the chart we had a uh, 96.4 back in March and it did drop down to 90.9 but the whisper numbers were actually converted down in the 80s so it was uh, thought to be even smaller so obviously uh, the outlook day is a little bit, bit grimmer than we were a few months ago just a little bit right um, Last but not least, we got the basis of two components of the consumer price index, which is a, uh, the inflationary data that comes for on the consumer level, which is one of the two important indexes that we look at in terms of inflation. Uh, the most important, the Fed's favorite gauge, is the personal consumption expenditure, uh, or PCE. Uh, but the CPI uh, back in March, as you can see here, it dropped 0.4%. Forecast was calling for 0.8%. It came in at forecast at 0.8%. This brings us year over year down from a whopping, or not whopping, but it was at 1.5%, but way down to 0.3%. This is a huge drop uh, to almost basically zero inflation right there. Now, this is really what we look at is the core CPI, primarily because this is what uh, food and energy, this is basically the same data, but we strip out food and energy, which have, are variables that we have no control over, and it can sometimes bring big swings, and you'll kind of see why. So in March, we had a 0.1% drop, and forecast come for a 0.2%, and it actually dropped 0.4%. And a lot of that has to do with, of course, the oil. Uh, we had to remember those huge swings where oil was actually uh, went to negative territory for the first time ever, and then actually pulled up a little bit. Uh, now it's right around $24, $25, so it's getting a little bit better, but it was just a matter of uh, a couple months ago, it was up as much as 60 bucks a barrel. Uh, this brought its year over year down from 2.1 percent all the way down to 1.4 percent. So right now we have no because of the coronavirus and the quarantines and the stay-at-home orders. This is just closing. We have no inflationary uh, pressure right now. This is actually going the opposite direction, and of course inflation is dropping pretty dramatically uh, on these. Let's see how this is playing on the headline news. Uh, stocks are a little mixed today. Uh, it's kind of investors kind of look at a lot of different things. We looked at. The data that were just uh, presented to you, uh, there was a couple cases in Wuhan, uh, about six people after uh, some time that they had no new cases. Now they said they have six new cases that came in. So, of course, that's a little spooky because people are trying to reopen their economies here and they're hoping that this won't be another reoccurrence. Uh, Dr. Fauci is also having a testimony before Senate. Uh, he is cautioning, of course, opening up too soon could be dramatic. And, uh, we could see a dramatic increase of people dying. Uh, but again, uh, matter of debate there. Uh, not op reopening could be a matter of dying as well as we're, the supply chain of food has already been uh, starting to break, and we need food and we need people back to work and get things going. So uh, it's one one or the other in some in some ways. Also on the agenda here today, we got the Fed is purchasing corporate bonds today. This is their way of trying to alleviate some of the uh, uh, pressures on corporations. With the they tend to do uh, bonds instead of borrowing from the banks. They a lot of times will just issue bonds uh, as part of their debt. So the Fed's trying to create some uh, credit crisis or, or not creating a credit crisis, trying to help out with the credit by purchasing some of these corporate bonds uh, today as well. So this is uh, see how it's playing on the bond market. Bond market is down. Yesterday we it shows on the chart here a pretty dramatic drop, but it's not as bad as it looks. Uh, we ended up closing the day down 25 basis points, but what we had yesterday was what they call a bond rollovers, where we do a reset in pricing because we're getting a new month. So every 30 days, we uh, because bonds are finite and they go for approximately 30 years, uh, we have a day where we set that issue of bonds for that one month and then the next day like today's we'll go to the next uh, month so every 30 years uh it will be the next big pricing for those for that batch of bonds so right around this time frame we usually get this t data here and that uh, happens to be 17 basis points and that brings us really back up to a minus eight for the day uh today we're down about five about actually about two basis points right now from where we left off yesterday so 
but pricing should be about the same um, uh, for where we left off yesterday as we didn't have much change. Uh, but this is bringing us closer to the 50-day moving average. We have to kind of look to see if this will hold as a floor of support, maybe give us a spring back upwards, or if we break below it like we did back in uh, March, uh, that could be uh, be a bit concerning. Uh, this is uh, But we do have the Fed purchasing mortgage-backed securities as well, which is helping us up, but they are decreasing their purchases each day. Uh, we're down to about four base or four billion. Uh, we're back here um, when they started doing all this. This was uh, about forty billion. So in each week, it's been dropping a little bit less and less. So they're buying less and less bonds, and that's why uh, we're we've kind of dropped below this level. It helped, as you can see here, it helped us out a lot in the sense that it helped stabilize it. But at, when, as they decrease, so we've been kind of dropping further down. Uh, we're not getting a lot of the whole, uh, corporate dollars as we would like to see, or uh, investor dollars going into markets back securities, as they're still kind of putting a lot of that money back into the uh, uh, securities or the, the stock market. So that's why we're not seeing the big swings that we were back about a month ago uh, with the with the stock market. All right. So in yields, kind of same way. There's kind of no man's land in here about point uh, about point six nine right now for more from where we were yesterday. So kind of the same range right now. All right, so that's pretty much the wrap for the day. If you guys are looking to buy or refinance uh, in California and live in California, please reach out. Uh, you can direct message me or email me. And uh, also, if you guys are ready to go, uh, I will put a link down below. You can go ahead and collect, uh, start your loan application, and you can also upload documents in that uh, same box as well. All right, so that's pretty much the wrap for the day. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching, and we will look forward to seeing you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.